Today, we're talking about something that never leaves my camera bag and has saved me more than once, and that is this guy right here, the Peak Design Tech Pouch. What is going on everybody? If you're new around here, my name is Finn Badgley. I'm a commercial fashion portrait photographer and all around content creator. And today we are looking at the Peak Design Tech Pouch. Now we've seen a lot of companies coming out with their own versions of this guy right here. Just a little pouch that you can keep all your techie bits and bobs in, keep everything nice and organized in one place, having a lot of different compartments and that way all your stuff is nice and organized together. Now, myself, I used to be one of those people where all those little pockets in your camera bag, they were just filled with all my random stuff and I needed somewhere to put that, which is when I started looking into something like this and I came across the Peak Design version. Now, I'm not sponsored by Peak Design. They did not send me this. I did pay for this with my own hard earned cash. But to be quite frank, I am just a fan of a lot of the Peak Design products and I had already had some experience with using the brand's different products. So going with this guy was a no brainer for me. So let's actually break this down, look inside this guy, find out what I like about it, what maybe I would change, and whether this would be right for you, whether you're looking for something to carry your tech on the go, or if you just want something to carry all your bits that you can't fit nicely in your camera bag, like me. So, opening this guy right up, we have the main compartment here, and we can see I got a lot going on. That's no secret, I basically have this guy filled to the very brim. So let's break down exactly what is in this and then maybe how you might want to organize it yourself. So at the top here, you got a couple different pens. This one has a little funky phone stand. You can put it down, put your phone on it. Got a little, one of the little styluses and then you got a twisty pen. It's not any actual specific brand. It was just a couple pens I was given at some event and I like them so I keep them on the go for me like that. Now going into the side dividers here, I have a nice long USB-A to USB-A cable here, and that is just an extension cable. This is mainly for when I am tethering on a photo shoot. I will plug the insert for the USB-A cord in here and then plug this into my computer. That guy is nice and long. On the other side here, I also do have a shorter version, which I just have tied up with the little bongo tie there. Definitely comes in handy. Now over here, I have one of the old mini USB cables. This was for my Canon 6D when I was using that to tether and sometimes when I still do. And this cable is pretty nice and long, but sometimes you wanna extend it. So that's when I got the extenders going on there. Now let's check out what else we got in here. We have an extra bongo tie just for fun. These things are great and nice to carry around. Just tie up some cables and keep things from getting messy. And then on the other side here, we have a nice little Ziploc bag with some AA and AAA batteries. A lot of the different tech bits that I use, receivers, transmitters, stuff like that for my camera. They'll either take a couple AA batteries or a couple AAAs, so I just like to keep those nice and handy. Keep them in a Ziploc all nice together, so that way if anything happens, it's not getting all inside this and making it gross and weird. Now, what else do we got in here? We have these little side pouches here, perfect for things like memory cards, batteries, etc. are both the containers for my empty and full SD cards. When a card is full, I put it in here, tuck it away. You can see actually these are divided perfectly to just fit an SD card. I can fit about eight in a pack of these. These are actually not technically memory card holders. They're little pill organizers from a local pharmacy. And I just found they were perfect for holding SD cards. They're nice and small and actually fit perfectly in here. So since then I've been using these for all my SD cards. And then that full card one doesn't get touched until everything is backed up and then from there, it goes into the empty card case where I have quite a few more currently. And those are good to go. They're ready to format, throw them in your camera. And then that way I don't have to worry if that card is exposed or not. I know what's good, what's not. And when I'm looking for a fresh card after filling one up on a shoot, I know exactly what I can grab. Now, going on to the other side, we have a 
little eight gig USB, and that is just in case I need one in a pinch. If the client wants something ready to go right away, transfer it to that and I'm good to go. Now here I also have an LPE6 battery, fully charged when it's in there, it is charged and that way I know it's ready to go. And then I also have a extra Manfrotto tripod plate because we've all been there where you're on a shoot and you go to put your camera on the tripod, there's no plate on the tripod and you know what isn't on the bottom of your camera? The tripod plate. And keeping this extra guy in there, make sure I never have to suffer that embarrassment. So that's what I keep in these two side pockets here. Then into the main pocket here, I have some scissors, always needed in a pinch. Then I have some Advil, different medications. This is like a little cocktail in there, just so that way if I get a headache or something on set, allergies come up, etc., I'm able to quickly deal with that and it won't kill the day. Little lens pen cleaner here. And then I also have an extra little USB-C to USB-A cable. I have quite a few different cables in here. Then I also have a little flashlight just in case I need to find something quickly on the go. A short little USB-C to USB-C cable. Again, these all different cables are for a lot of different purposes and I just wanna make sure I'm covered no matter what. Then I have a Swiss Army knife. This is mainly for this guy right here to screw in tripod plates. That way I don't need to be that guy being like, hey, does anybody have a coin? Does anybody have like a quarter? Maybe a loony or something? Yes, I'm Canadian, we have loonies. We have toonies. That's just how it is here. And that way I don't need to ask for one. So we got that in the bag there. Then over here, I have this little connector that goes on the side of my EOS R for when I'm tethering, that way the cable doesn't get pulled and I am good. Then I have a, another USB-C to USB-A cable. This one's a little longer, wrapped up nicely with a cable tie. And that's about it for those little pockets there. And in this last one, I have an LPE6 charger. That way, if I forget to bring one and a battery goes down, I'm ready to charge that sucker up and I'm good to go. Then for any film shoots, video, et cetera, if I'm using one of my still lenses, put this guy on there and that way we can keep the follow focus rings going and it moves a lot smoother than if I didn't have it. Then I got a little peak design pouch in here. This just has a little Allen key so that way I can unscrew and screw on different plates as I need to. And that's about it for that center pocket there. I also have a couple business cards in here, just in case I'm on a shoot, somebody comes around and asks. That way I'm covered. I know that I have a couple backups there ready to go. And in this side pocket, I have a couple different little cables, aux cords. I also keep a spare pair of headphones in there. So that way if I ever forget them, I'm covered. This actually happened to me and that's why they're not in here right now on a shoot just yesterday where I was driving and I realized I forgot my headphones and I'm gonna be needing to monitor audio for this. And that's when I remembered, oh, thank God, I packed an extra pair of headphones in this pocket should that situation ever come up. It was one of those things where you know you're forgetting something and it just hits you when you're on the way there. You don't have time to turn back. So I thought, wait, perfect. I have these backups here. All's good, and I was able to take a deep breath and carry on. Now, also in here, there are a couple extra little pockets for SD cards, but personally, I just like using my main organizers there. Then, on the side, we have this little pocket here. Nice something to keep a passport or something like that in. Myself, I like keeping a little notebook. Just make some notes in that. I'm a very physical, tactile person, and this guy is perfect for that. It's nice and small. Jot something down quickly on the go, and I'm good. And then just a little thing to make sure I'm never smelling funky or anything like that when I'm on set. I just have a couple little sample bottles of cologne 
This one in particular is Tom Ford's Black Orchid because I like to smell fancy and just gives a good impression there. I don't ever put too much on because some people have scent sensitivities, etc. But it is something that if I'm smelling a little funky, everybody's out there on a nice hot day and you're starting to sweat, this takes the edge off a little bit. So that is everything that I keep inside of this guy. And now let's talk about some of the features, some things I like and something that maybe may turn you off. So off the bat, there's actually a couple neat things they did here, like putting these little holes. If you wanna attach one of the anchor links from Peak Design, they really tried to integrate it with their whole system there. You can attach a strap to it and use it like a sling bag. <laughs> Lesson on why it's always good to have a backup battery around hand. My camera just died, so swap that guy out and we're ready to keep going here. So, yeah, we got these little bits that you can put their anchor links on, and that way it keeps it all nice in the same system. Put a strap on it, use it like a sling bag. Very handy in that way. Also, there's these little handles that you can kind of put your hand around. I have very large hands, so they're a little small for me but most people should be able to grab onto that just fine. Or I could always use it with like three fingers, that type of deal. Now, as you can see, when I have this thing fully loaded, it is pretty big. It actually does take up a decent amount of space in my camera bag. And that is something that may turn some people off. This is the type of thing where if you're looking to carry a lot of stuff and you just want it in a bag, maybe you can throw it on a sling or throw it in a bag, then that's perfect for you. But if you're looking just to carry a couple little things like your passport, your phone, maybe some cables, like a charger or two, then maybe this isn't the right thing for you. Maybe this is a little too bulky, gets a little too heavy and a little too cumbersome. You would want something a little slimmer, something that you can have be a little more portable and take up a little less space in your bag. But for me, this carries everything I need it to and eliminates that thing, having all those bits and pieces everywhere in my camera bag. And then I don't know where certain things are. If I move them from one place to another, I know where everything is in this guy. It's all laid out, organized very nicely. And that way I open it up and I know exactly where I'm looking for what and where that thing is. And then I don't get slowed down, just grab whatever I need to and keep going. It's definitely saved me more than once and keeping this in my camera bag is something that I always do when I'm not filming a review for it, of course. So that's really my thoughts on this guy. It has a nice fabric to it, this particular one is the charcoal color. They do have a couple different colors of this. I just like it. It's nice and blacked out. Very simple in that regard. A lot of my camera bags are fairly black and conspicuous and just kind of look like regular bags. So this kind of fits in with that overall aesthetic. Fits nicely in the camera bag. Doesn't take up too much space but also manages to fit everything I need to in it. So for me, after looking at everything, this was pretty much the perfect decision. Now, if it was maybe a little smaller, that could be handy, but also here's the thing. If it was smaller, I wouldn't be able to fit everything in it that I currently have. So with that, that is why I went with this particular one. There were a couple smaller ones and I looked at them and I'm like, you know what, I'm just not gonna be able to fit everything that I need to in it. And if it's a little bulky, if it's a little heavy, sure, but it'll have everything I need and that way I know no matter what I'm covered. And yes, this is a lot to fit in here and maybe you would put some different things in there and wouldn't have as many certain things that I do. But at the end of the day, this is just what works for me and what keeps me going. And I should also mention there are also these two extra little inside pockets here that I don't make too much use of, again, because I have it pretty bulked out, but you can throw a couple smaller things in there as well. It's a great little bag to carry on the go. And honestly, if you're looking for something to carry all your tech bits and bobs, especially if you're a content creator, photographer, filmmaker, and you need to keep all your stuff organized in one place, then I think the Peak Design Tech Pouch is probably perfect for you. And if not, they have a couple different offerings that are a little smaller, a little bigger, what have you. And what I like about it is it's smaller than your typical sling bag. It's organized very differently. 
and it's able to carry everything you need to, but it's also not too small where it won't fit everything that I need to in it. And with that, you can convert it to a sling bag or fanny pack style if you so choose. But for me, this thing, honestly, keeping it loose like this, throwing in my camera bag is just the way that I like to roll with this particular guy right here. And honestly, I think if you have similar needs like I do, then this might just be perfect for you. It's a great photographer, filmmaker, everyday carry pouch type of deal. And I think it would be perfect for you if that's what you're looking for. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, especially if you've been looking at something to organize all your little tech bits and bobs. This has definitely been a worthwhile investment for me. And yeah, I, I would not go back. Like if this got ruined or whatever, I would 100% get another one because this is just fantastic. I absolutely love it. But again, not sponsored, nothing like that. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment if you like this kind of thing. You wanna see more little tech gear review things from me in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos so you never miss an upload. Work hard, rest often. And as always, I will see you on the next.